by no means China is a China was China will dominate the world there's only one dominance in the world that is the US today that is not the dream not aspiration of China not the capacity of China to emulate the success of the US and the dominance of the world China's emergence is not implying that China will dominate the world. The 21st century will belong to China, and it also will belong to any countries, any nations, any people who are willing to follow the flow. Together, we all will own the century. Thank you. <laughs> Fried Zakaria, you're next. Chow and Lai is supposed to have said, I think actually uh, in a conversation with Henry Kissinger, when asked, what do you think of the French Revolution? He said, it's too soon to tell. And everyone thought, oh my goodness, this is so, such a, so, a, a genius. He thinks so long in centuries. Well, it turns out we now know he meant in 1973 the French Revolution of 1968, the student revolution, and it was perfectly rational to say at that point it was too soon to tell. <laughs> so don't, don't believe that you know, the Chinese are, are, are these strategic masterminds and we're, we're bumbling. We have managed to bumble our way through a, a rather advanced position despite the challenges from the, from the Kaiser's Germany, from the Soviet Union, from Nazi Germany, from Japan. And I think what you will find is that the United States and North America are creating an, an extraordinary new model in this new world. We are becoming the first universal nation, a country that draws people from all parts of the world, of all colors, creeds, and religions, and finds a way to harness their talent and build a kind of universal dream. And it happens over here. It happens here, and it draws together people from all over the world. Look at this panel. Three of the people on this panel, Neil Ferguson, myself, and Henry Kissinger, are immigrants who've come and found their fortune in the United States because it welcomed the most talented people in the world and allowed them to, to, to uh, flourish in whatever they, wa they want, even to denounce the United States, as Neil Ferguson is now doing. I want to conclude with a quotation. What if China gradually expands its economic ties, acts calmly and moderately, and slowly enlarges its sphere of influence, seeking only greater weight, friendship, and influence in the world. What if it quietly positions itself as the alternative to a hectoring and arrogant America? How will America cope? This is a new challenge for the United States, one for which it is largely unprepared. The words of Fareed Zakaria, ladies and gentlemen. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is precisely why China will own the 21st century. And you should vote for this motion. Thank you. <laughs> the Congressional Budget Office used to predict that we were going to pay off our debt uh, in 15 years, 10 years uh, ago. Now they predict that we're going to be uh, immiserated. We'll see how it works. My point to you is don't lose faith in free and open societies. Vote with your heart. Bravo. Bravo, gentlemen. Bravo. Monk debates.